Hi everyone, welcome to Amateur FX Views, I'm Theo. Today I'm playing the Tomb Sender by Blamo Electronics. So as far as I understand it, the Tomb Sender is based on a Mark II Tone Bender. And those of you that follow the channel know that I love Tone Benders. But this one's different to the usual one. The, the Mark III, Mark IV Tone Bender is more like a Big Muff, but the Mark II is something else entirely. Now, almost by its nature, it seems to cut out a lot of low ends, the, the Mark II. So I was really excited when Blamo came out with this, said it was kind of based on a Mark II. And my pal Jamie Wolfert did a great uh, demo of it, including bass. So you should follow his channel, Harsh Tones Inc. If you find that, follow it. He did a great demo of it and it sounded amazing on bass. So I couldn't resist and I had to buy one. I'm playing my new Squire Classic Vibe 70s Precision Bass. It's in a lovely walnut colour. Um, I'll give you some of my clean tone, then I'll play through the pedal. What you've got in there, though, as you can see, is a level, a bias, an attack, and a tone. So the attack is the gain. The original, um, the original Mark II tone benders just had level and attack, which is volume and gain. Uh, this includes a bias as well, which is a popular upgrade for the Mark II sort of style pedals, and including a tone control, which is actually pretty rare. It also has a little noise gate on it, which most of the time is just, A, just awesome, uh, because it cuts the noise. I couldn't really tell a much of a difference at high gain, um, what it does tonally, but at lower gain, if you turn the noise gate off, you do seem to get a bit more gain out of it. So. Just a really great feature though, because I had a lot of fuzz pedals that are just very noisy. Um, so I'll give you some of my clean tone now.
Okay, so what I'm going to do now is turn off my Tech 21 VT bass and turn on a low pass and high pass filter that's in my, my radar. So all it's doing is cutting off uh, the low frequencies at 35 hertz and the high frequencies about five kilohertz. The reason I do this is that if I just recorded direct into my sound card, it would sound awful. But by cutting off those high frequencies especially, it still sounds natural and kind of uncolored. Um, but just sounds a bit more pleasing to the ear by cutting off those very top end frequencies that a uh, real cab wouldn't replicate anyway, in most cases. So here's my clean tone again. So that's the Tomb Sender from Blammer Electronics. Go check them out. They've got some really great pedals and downs, really good to deal with. Um, my thoughts on it are, it's awesome. Uh, I have actually haven't even tried it on guitar yet. I've just been using it on bass. It's all over my new Betazoids EP um, on bass. Um, as a bass pedal, yeah, there's, I think, quite a few settings where it really stands out on bass. Uh, definitely with the tone control below 12 o'clock, but preferably kind of at minimum. Um, it's interesting because now playing it a bit more, I'm noticing that the noise gate, while I love having it on, if I take it off, it seems to just make the pedal a little more open, a little less compressed, and with a little more low end coming through. Um, I, I mean, I could be wrong, but that's what it's sounding like to me. I'm really enjoying it. It gives me something that a lot of my other fuzz pedals don't. It's just got its own sound that doesn't sound like a big muff or a variation on a big muff. And there's nothing wrong with those pedals that do sound like that, but it's nice to have something different. Finally, I've got a pedal here that I can go, ah, well, I'm not gonna get rid of that because I might want that sound for something else. Where a lot of big muff bass pedals, I can just be like, well, there's about a thousand companies that will do a big muff that works great on bass. Uh, anyway, yeah, if you like the video, then drop me a like, subscribe if you wanna see more. I'm releasing, a review video every Monday. And on every Thursday, I've got my new I Need Lessons series, which is basically me playing pretty badly, but using a lot of these pedals in combination with each other. So you can actually hear how they work together. So I think that's a very big thing. Like it's all well and good listening to the Tomb Sender in isolation, but you might want to hear how it sounds with like 
an octave pedal running into it or it going into a chorus or whatever. Anyway, have a good day. Take care of yourselves. See you next week. Bye.